picking. Picking is something we don't normally use with the ukulele. Um, there have been all sorts of different kinds of picks. Crazy felt picks that you play with. That one makes just a, a real light sound if you're strumming, but it's not very good for single notes, and it's really kind of heavy there. There are several different kinds of picks that you can use. Why would you use a pick in the first place? Um, if you can play with your hands, makes a beautiful sound, strumming and all that. But a pick is actually a pretty useful device. Um, I've noticed, especially when you have to take a melody and make it loud, like over a group or with a partner or something, you can also do some really nice strumming with picks. That's like a funk kind of strum or even uh, more folk stuff like So flat picking, as it's called, is the kind of picking I do. So I'm going to explain to you the way that I do it for this lesson, and we'll go through the exercises that are uh, in the magazine. So I am using a heavy pick. This one is my favorite, um, but there are several different kinds. We saw the felt pick already, which is really thick, and for some people it works great for strumming, and it, it, uh, it's easy to control. Um, it doesn't take much. But as I said, if you play a, a single note with it, it's really felty sounding. <laughs> um, here's another pick, a small one that's actually a thin pick. You see how it bends like that? These are pretty good, especially for beginners, because they bend with the string. So you can play up and down. And you don't have to do the bending yourself. So if I play a strum, Listen to the thin pick on a single note. If you use a thicker pick, it actually has a nice, uh, more focused sound. Here's a medium pick, and there's a big one. Some bass players use these large ones like this. This would be a great pick for uh, a U bass, for instance. And that's a medium. So that's, that's a kind of nice in-between where you can strum and still hit some melodies. I personally play with a heavy one, and then I let my fingers bend a little bit over time, but that, that might take a while. So let's go through the exercises of how to use a pick. The first thing that you wanna do is figure out how to hold the thing, because when you first start, it might feel really strange, you know, angle at the strings. What I do is I take my thumb flat out and put it on there, and then around the outside, you let your other finger go. So if you look at it from the front, it looks like this, and from there, it's not exactly straight, but this one comes down at an angle a bit, so you can hold it pretty much so that it's at a right angle to the strings. And once you get used to it, it's not so bad. So let's start by just taking a few exercises. This first one here, I've got them written down, is an E minor to a B7. And all we're gonna do is play down strokes. You can do it really slow, just like an arpeggio, one at a time. Get a feel for it. And as you get better at, let your wrist do a little bit more of that. Now let's try just the upstroke. This one, with a pick, it's a little different because you're gonna have to let the pick kinda go across the strings. Instead of pulling it tightly, just let it go at an angle. Once again, E minor, B7, E minor, B7. Now put them together. Uh, we have an A minor chord here, and then an E minor, and then a B7. Now back to the A minor. Let's go to the E minor. what chords you use, but down, up, down, up. And what I'm doing is I'm going back and forth a little bit and letting it just scrape over the strings. If you've never done this before, it might feel really strange at first, but I guarantee you a little bit of picking in your toolbox will get you a long way, especially if you start playing melodies. Uh, let's go on to example two, and this one is a G chord, a C, and a D7. Here we're going to take a normal folk strum, 
we're used to, like without a pick, you go down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Whether it's your thumb, take this exact same field as you normally do and let the pick uh, be loose in your wrist, but not in your fingers. So you're holding it tight here, but the rest of your hand kind of makes up for it. have to hold it tight enough that you don't lose it, but also loose enough in your uh, middle of your hand and your wrist that you can really let it flow. It takes a little while to get used to it, but once you jump in you'll find it's pretty easy. Also an example too is the boom chica, and this is really useful. Here's an F. A D minor, a G minor 7, and a C. So we're gonna go boom, chicka, boom, chicka. That's kind of landing on the fourth string or just the fourth and third. And you snap it back and forth. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Here we go. F, G minor. Start speeding up and see how that feels. That's one of the advantages of a pick, is um, you can go really dig in. Like if I were playing that, and I suddenly had to play a melody, and you got. fun once you get some good picking technique. Let's uh, jump over to example three here and we're going to jump into an arpeggio style. So usually here's an, uh, an excerpt from the arpeggio meditations that we're used to and this time we're just going to do use the pick. Down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Just get used to that feel. And after a while, you can really direct it and make a nice sound. So that exercise gets you going down, 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 up. The next one I've got for you actually takes it back and forth a little bit. So we're going to go... We're going to go across the strings. Down, down, up, down, up. And take a look at it. It takes a little while to get used to this. It's going to be four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two. Okay? Nice and slow. It's going to get to a place where you can really use it a little quicker. But for now, nice and slow. arpeggio meditation, but using the pick to go. Nice and slow. Down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. I can barely say it. You have to do it nice and slow until that really settles in. Once you learn that exercise, you'll really have some picking control. So go nice and slow. Be nice to yourself, because this is all brand new if you've never used a pick before. But that one will really get you some technique, okay? So the last thing I have for you is more of a scale thing. It starts by just going up the C major scale. And we're going to double the notes.
And this is going to lead into a piece at the end. So, one down, dun, 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 dun. that's doubles. Then you try triples. This will make you pick back and forth, up and down, and it'll change each direction. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. I can't even say that again. So you go triple, let triple. By changing directions, you're really learning how to pick. So double, 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 double. Now here come the triplets. Triplet, double. Now fours. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then at the very end, just play a scale. The idea being that you alternate over and over and over. If you find yourself doubling, you'll notice that it'll really slow you down. So what you want to do is go slow enough so you're always going down up. In some rare occasions, you'll want to double it in a melody for a different string, but mostly the down up alternating picking is going to give you the most out of that. So once you've done that exercise a bunch of times and you get used to that, um, we're going to go towards a little piece called My Hero. And this one, here's an A7. But if you go really slow, A7, and we're going to go, we're in the key of D minor. Here's a D minor chord. And you just play the last scale. There's a little bit of a tongue twister there. The second part goes to a G minor. thing you want to do is go really really slow with this stuff and get every note now the exercise has a little tongue twister in at the end that's meant to make you pick backwards and forwards so you might want to save that one for a little while until you get some technique going. But that's basically it. Uh, a bunch of exercises. Remember to hold the pick in a way that feels really comfortable. Use your wrist to do all the work. And then just play until you start feeling comfortable. It takes a while. Um, and I suggest the scales and the arpeggios um, over and over and over and go back and forth between until you really get a feel for it. When you're strumming, it's a little different. That's when your wrist needs to just let it go. So go after it and see how it feels. Enjoy your lesson.